Okay. All right, you guys. This is Mrs. Kang, and um, I was looking over at your homework assignment, and I wanted to make a video, even though I already taught the classes uh, periods one and three. But I kind of realized the homework. Some problems are a little challenging, so um, I'm gonna go over them, and hopefully you can use these to help you with your homework. Now, I do want you to realize that the numbers, the values that I have on my homework, are not the same as the ones that you have on your homework. So you just need to apply what I am uh, saying or what I am, how I'm solving, and but then you need to make sure to use your own numbers. Okay. All right. So let's start with number one. And I might not do every problem, all right? <laughs> it says drag and drop the unit rate for each size of peanut butter into the correct box. So if you take a look over here, you have the regular size, the 20 ounce is price $5.40 and 26 ounce is $3.38. That's the uh, family size, okay? Oh, I kind of, I already know the answer, but let's go ahead and um, make sure that we are showing the proper work. So when you're writing a rate, I said that money always goes on top. So for the regular size, I'm just going to title it R. The way you set up the rate is you put money on top, $5.40, and over 20 ounces. And please don't just write... um. 5.4 over 20 because uh, you do want to write the unit, okay? Before I solve that one, I'm going to also set up the family size, which is $3.38 for 26 ounces. All right. So in order to find the unit rate, you need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So I'm going to divide this one by 20. And this one by 26. Okay. At this point, you can bring your calculator and have the calculator do the math. So the first one, $5.40 divided by 20, you get 27 cents for one ounce. Remember, your denominator is always one. For the second one, $3.38 divided by 26 ounces, and you get 13 cents per ounce. And I would like for you to show all of those work because showing work is very important. These are the answers. And. Let's go ahead and see if um, 27 cents and 13 cents. Check. There you go. Next one. Okay. So for number two, it says Martin charges $10 for every five bags of leaves. So you can see over here, one, two, three, four, five leaves, uh, bags of leaves for 10 bucks. Last weekend, um, he raked 21 bags of leaves. How much money did he earn? Now, um, what you're going to do is this one actually takes unit rate and then you actually take it one step further, okay? So first, I'm gonna find the unit rate. So if it is $10 for five bags, then if I divide by five, then it shows that it is $2 for one bag. But it says 21 bags. So how do I make this one bag 21? I can multiply by 21, which means I'm going to have to do the same thing on the numerator. So then when you do that, you get the rate of $42, 2 times 21 is 42 for 21 bags of leaves. And then that's what you do. So first you had to find the unit rate. However, that's not the answer. 
I knew how to multiply. In this case, for me, 21. And let's see. Let's see if 42 they would take. Yay. Okay. Number three, super easy. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that one. Words on top, time on the bottom, divide by, you know, the denominator. All right. Gonna skip that one. Okay. Number four, I am going to do because similar to number two, number four actually requires um, two steps as well. It says the cost of six oranges is one dollar. And then it says, how, what is the cost of three dozen oranges? So this one actually doesn't require necessarily a unit rate. Okay. So let's go ahead and write the rate first. It's one dollar for six oranges. Okay. And then it says, what is the cost of dozen oranges? So this actually has to do with equivalent rate. Remember in the previous lesson on ratios, on the second page, we talked about equivalent ratios or equivalent fractions. So it says three dozen oranges. Three dozen oranges is 36 oranges, right? Because one dozen is 12. So on the bottom where it says oranges, I'm going to write three dozen oranges or rather 36. Okay. And what I find here by finding the equivalent rate, that's the answer. So um, six oranges times six is 36. So one times six, it is six dollars. So it is six dollars for 36 oranges. And let's see if that's correct. Yay! Okay. Number five. How can you use a rate to compare the cost of two boxes of cereal that are different sizes? You can divide the cost of each box by the size of the box in ounces to find the unit cost per ounce. I gave that to you for watching this homework help video, okay? Number six. I know it looks like it's a lot of information, but it's actually not, okay? Six and seven are related. Taryn and Alastair both mow lawns. Each charges a flat fee to mow a lawn. So for Taryn, for example, seven lawns, um, it takes them 7.5 hours and you, um, he makes, he or she makes $101.50. Okay. The table shows the number of lawns mowed in the past week, the time spent uh, mowing the lawns and the money earned. Now, I know that it's a lot of information, but all it's asking is this. How much does Taryn charge to mow a lawn? Now, so what is this? Number six. You guys think about it. Charge um, to mow a lawn. Let's think about this. these words. Basically, what this is, is if I were to change it to words that relates to uh, rate and unit rate, it'll be money charge to mow a lawn. So money per lawn. Which means when you make your rate, all you do is put the money on top and number of lawns on the bottom. The, the middle information here, time spent, is not relevant here. Okay? So, Taryn, so I'm going to put $101.50 over seven lawns. And you divide by seven. Let's see, I know that it's gonna be per lawn and I'm going to find out how much that is. Let's see. So, $101.50 divided by seven. I have a feeling I may need to round. Let's take a look. Oh, I don't. Okay, 14.5. Now, but be careful here. So if you write, 14 and 5 tenths. This is clearly money. 
So money requires two decimal digits. So it's fourteen dollars and fifty cents. Okay, for one lawn. Fourteen dollars and fifty cents is how much he charges to mow a lawn. Okay. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna first put fourteen point five and see if that'll take it. I'm just curious. Okay, it does. Okay, but better answer would be fourteen point five zero. Fourteen and fifty hundreds. Fourteen dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to do number um seven, but this is what you need to do. Who earns more per hour? So earns. So again, that's money. And then it says per hour, which means time. Listen carefully. You need to find the unit rate for both. It doesn't have to do with the number of lawns mowed. Okay, it's just earns more per hour. So money on top, number of hours on the bottom, and then you will divide by the denominator. Okay, so you put $78 on top, 6.5 hours on the bottom, and you divide by 6.5. Then you put 45 on top, 3 hours on the bottom, and you divide by 3. So then once you do that, you'll find the unit rate for both. How much uh, money earned per hour for both, okay? And then based on that, you're going to choose who earns more money per hour. Okay, number eight. Okay, so this one um, actually requires some work. So, because I know that there are a few parts to this assignment, and I definitely know that you're going to need help on this one. Number eight. Just like the previous one, it gives a lot of information, okay? Instead of just giving two information to write a unit, uh, write a rate or unit rate, it gives three informations, okay? Thomas makes balloon uh, sculptures at a circus. In 140 minutes, he uses 196 balloons to make 24, uh, 28 identical balloon sculptures okay part one how many minutes does it take to make one balloon sculpture okay so it's not how many balloons it's how many minutes 140 minutes divided by or over 28 identical balloon sculptures okay so Part one, um, you're gonna write 140 minutes over 28. And then I'm just gonna write B, <laughs> um, oh, I'm just gonna write S for sculptures, okay? Um, okay, so, I'm gonna solve it by dividing by 28. Then it's going to show how many minutes it takes to just make one, okay? 140 divided by 28, five minutes. So five minutes for one, okay. There you go. Let's see if that's correct. Takes him five minutes. To make one balloon sculpture. Okay. All right. So, oh, I don't know if that's correct because there is a second part of this problem. I didn't realize it. Blank numbers, uh, blank balloons are used to make just one sculpture. So it shows that there's total of 196 balloons that you use to make 28 identical balloon sculptures. So to solve that one, you would do 196 balloons. Just on B, and you divide it by the total number of okay, divided by 28, and that's going to show how many balloons you need to use to make just one. So 196 divided by 28, you get seven. 
That means seven balloons per Okay, let's see if that's correct. Hopefully both of those are. That way I don't have to redo it. Seven balloons per. Yay, that's correct. Okay, second part. What is Thomas's unit rate for balloons used per minute? Okay, um, let's see. So you use from part number part uh from part one this is part two it shows that you use seven balloons okay so seven balloons and it takes five minutes okay so that's the information that you are going to use okay you use seven balloons and it takes you five minutes. Hopefully that makes sense. So then if you divide by five, it's gonna show you how many balloons per minute. It says, what is Thomas's unit rate for balloons used per minute? Okay, I hope I'm getting it right. Okay, I know this is gonna be one minute. Let's see, seven divided by five, one and four tenths, so 1.4 balloon. And I know that technically you cannot have one and four tenths of a balloon, but all they're saying is on average, 1.4 balloon per minute. Okay, so I think that should be right. Okay, let's see if that's uh, correct. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. And finally, number part three, the last part, use the diagram to find out how many balloons he will use in 10 minutes. Now, if you take a look at here, just like how we solved on the previous problem part two, that diagram shows um, 1.4 ba balloons per minute. So then for 10 minutes, it's simply just 1.4 times 10. You can even write it as a rate. 1.4 balloons in one minute, right? That's what it says here. 1.4 balloons per minute. But you want to find out how many balloons for 10 minutes. So you can actually set up an equivalent rate and write 10 minutes here and find out how many balloons that would be. So the multiplicative relationship here is times 10 so you do the same thing here times 10 and 1 and 4 tenths times 10 is 14. so 14 balloons let's see yay let's go to the next problem that was a long one okay all right uh, I'm not going to do this one. It's a regular unit rate. It says, what's the price per dozen? So, um, oh, it's not just a regular unit rate. I'm going to verbally explain it. First, well, so two different ways to solve it. First, you can do $2.85 on top, six muffins on the bottom to find out how much it is for one muffin. And then, since they want to know what is the price per dozen dozen is 12 muffins so once you find the unit rate you can multiply that by 12 and that's going to give you the price or for this particular one you could actually just do two dollars write the rate two dollars and 85 cents on top six muffins on the bottom how do you make how do you change six muffins to 12 muffins you multiply by two so you can do $2.85 times two, and that would also give you the same amount. If you care, you could try both ways to make sure that they're, they both work, okay? All right, last one. I'm not going to do every single one here. I'm gonna do one example and then have you do the rest, okay? So just... Um, 
a little room here. I'm going to do number 10 right here. So it says a grocery store sells three different quantities of sugar. A one pound bag is a dollar and four cents. A two pound bag costs two dollars and six cents. A three pound bag costs two dollars and seventy nine cents. Enter the unit cost in price per pound for each. Complete the description about how the unit cost changes as the quantity of sugar increases, meaning as the pound, the weight increases. Now, I'm going to actually do two of them and have you do the rest, uh, the third unit rate, and then the, the last question on your own, okay? So one pound bag costs $1.04. Money always goes on top. So $1.04 over one pound, I'm going to use abbreviation, which is LB. Okay. Do you realize this already is the unit rate? Because if you divide by one, you know a unit rate is what the rate is when the denominator is one. It's already a unit rate. So this one is just $1.04. Okay? So that's why I want to also do the second one just to make sure that you know what to do. For the second one, it is two pound bag costs two dollars and six cents so two dollars and six cents on top two pounds on the bottom divide by two so two dollars and six cents divide by two is one dollar and three cents over one pound and that will be the second one and you do the same thing for the third and then take a look at the trend and you're going to answer this question. So this one would be $1.03. Okay, and you would do the third one, three pound back, and answer this question. Okay, so I hope that helps and I guess that's it. Okay, bye.